Hey, this is Sonia from Napalm Records. I am here with Delane, and we are going to be discussing a little bit about their upcoming album, Hunter's Moon. So, how are you guys liking the crew so far? Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> no, the cruise is fantastic. It's really cool. We uh, had the honor of opening uh, the, the Royal Theatre uh, venue yesterday, and it was packed with people, and everybody's enthusiastic. And the, the crew is always great. It's a treat. And then Charlotte is going to be hosting the big International Waters Jam this year. Um, she's got to be excited for that, you know, considering you go and you do covers with this, you know, all-star jam. Has there been anything that Delane has considered covering? Well, of course, we did cover something on our previous album, actually. It was uh, a Queen, the song Scandal. Um, uh, but uh, we, we don't really play covers live, but that's actually pretty interesting. It's intriguing. We should do that. Uh, especially here, you know, on a, on, a, on a cruise like this. It's not like your normal set you play. You make something different, something... A little bit out of the ordinary and the cover will do quite nicely. So thanks for the suggestion. So tell us a little about a little bit about Hunter's Moon. Um, specifically, how does it fall into the trilogy that has been, you know, Moon Bathers and Lunar Prelude? Well, um, it's kind of um, the, the closure of an era, kind of, because the first um, uh, such a release we did was indeed um, uh, Interlude. And that was kind of um, a new period for us because we transferred from Roadrunner to Napalm Records. And um, um, there was kind of the announcing of it as coming in like a new, new record. And then after that record we did, we did uh, the next one. Uh, where the song Sucker Punch is on. It was kind of like in, in the middle of, of that, but then we had Moon Baiters, and so the theme, the moon is all there, and this is kind of the closure of that period. And that's why Hunter's Moon has uh, this name, and we were even thinking about uh, making it a package and, and, and offering it to the fans like that. But, you know, uh, a lot of people already have those albums, so that doesn't really work, but it's kind of, okay, this is, the old period is done now, and now we go to a new album, and this is the, the like the bridge to that. So we have a couple new songs on there. We have um, uh, live recordings from old songs, and we even have a Blu-ray on there. So it's kind of um, uh, a collection from from the stuff from the past and some new stuff, glimpses from new stuff in the future. Okay, so part of the new album is live material taken from the Dance Macabre tour. Um, what were some of the highlights of that tour for Delane? Were there any special moments with fans? Absolutely. Well, a lot of highlights actually. We did the biggest show ever, a sold out show in, in Utrecht in the Netherlands where like more than 2,000 people there. Um, and uh, that's the, the show we also recorded. Um, and that's where we made the Blu-ray from. And of course, we had special guests there, and, and, and uh, the most well-known is of course Marco Hitala uh, from Nightwish, because fans always gave us like the request, can you do a tour with Marco? Uh, because we have a lot of songs with him. Um, and of course, he in the past he joined us for, for a song or two on stage, but not all the material we did with him. And that's that's quite quite some material. Um, so that that's a, a pretty big highlight. It was a really big production, and uh, there, fans came from all over the world, from the U.S., from Korea, from Bulgaria, South America, Scandinavia. So it was um, people from all over the world. So the vibe was really really special, uh, and um, yeah, also there uh, uh, we played uh, songs we didn't play before. Um, so, like Scandal, the Discover from Queen, for example. So, um, that was really, really special. That's also why I'm really happy that we... Uh, but it's possible that, that we have it now on the Blu-ray and that, that, that people um, can see it, because a lot of people ask for that. Like, can we see that show? We've been there, or we didn't been, we couldn't be there, but we want to want to know how it was. And so, um, yeah, I'm quite, quite happy with that. There are also four new songs on this record. 
these obviously give a little preview of kind of what's coming up, um, what's the writing process been like, and where are you at with more new material? Oh, that's a good question. Um, well, we have uh, two songs which we wrote in the way we always uh, have done. Uh, Charlotte and me uh, write it together with Guus. Guus, uh, people would say who's that? That's uh, somebody who's not in the band, but we write together throughout the whole history of the land. The, the, those are the three people who write the music, me, Charlotte and Guus. Um, and those uh, first tracks, first two tracks are made li like that. However, uh, also our band members are contributing more and more and uh, Timur, our guitar player, he does a lot of arranging already on songs and, and riffing. And now I asked him, could you just make a song, be the producer and if you need me, I'm at, at your disposal, but that's your song. And that's the same, we did the same with, with Merel, uh, our other guitar, uh, guitar player. And so they both made a song them, themselves, and, and that's their song. And of course, it's a delaying song, but it's, it's, it's made in a different way. And it was really a very exciting experiment and, and, and process it in a little bit of a different way. So those are the four, four tracks, yeah. We are so, so, so excited to be putting out Hunter's Moon on Napalm. And you can pre-order your copy today out February 22nd.